Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here with the month of March flip for the Tangla Day calendar. This one was a challenge because it's hard <laughs> to find something new. And I, I think the reality of what I'm doing just smacked me upside the head the first of March that I've got to find 365 different things. And so now every day I'm on the hunt for new ideas. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough Pinterest pins already. <laughs> all right, so let me go ahead and start. How about I bring you guys in a little closer, although not too close. You'll see all my flubs. All right, there we go. Focus. All right. Um, <clears throat> some of this stuff came from different sources. Some of it came out of a book, some of it came off of Pinterest, and the ones that I found names for, I did try to put the name on it. Some of the ones that had names didn't necessarily have the author's name or the creator's name, but I did put what I could find. And no, I did not go back and do the others like I said I thought I would. Eh, whatever. Okay, so here's this. I like the ribbony looks. And I've tried to do a little more shading in the ones that it would give it a... A different look all right so there's one two and three <clears throat> excuse me and there's four five and six of which I like two out of three and these two are my favorite ones on this page I really like this one but I do like the paisley look which really surprised me because I am not wild about paisley and color on material or much of anywhere else but for some reason I really like it in the black and white, and I love this one. I really love this one. have no clue what the name is, but this is one of my favorite ones. All right, so I found the name for this one, put it on there, and the, I guess, inventor's name or whatever you want to call creator's name. I like this, and I really like this one. This one is not exactly the perspective it showed in the picture. I struggled with it. I did it in pencil first, then I went over it in the marker to redo it, and for some reason I didn't get everything lined up the way it was supposed to. But I have the general idea how it works, and I really like it. This one, of course, I like because it involved tiny line work and little piddly stuff in the middle of the little bubbles, and I just, I just love that kind of stuff. This one, I don't do these very well. Um, they don't have the same perspective as the ones that I use for the example. For some reason, mine does not stand out like it's supposed to. But I'll get there. I'm still learning certain things. And I did try shading in this one. And there's a little shading in this one. There's not a lot, but there's a little bit in this one. All right. Ten, I gave up. <laughs> not going to lie. I found it difficult and tedious and I gave up. I will go back and try this one again but I think I'm going to practice it on a piece of paper separate. Um, I don't like the way this has turned out but I'm going to hang in there and finish it eventually. This one is okay. It's a little busy for me for some reason but it's all right. Then there's this one. There's the name and the creator. I was trying to do a few more flower patterns as you can see from all this other stuff. This was a heart pattern. This was one with this kind of a flower looking thing. And it needs shading on it. But it's not bad. It's, you know, it needs to be refined. I need to practice a little more. I love this kind of stuff. I love the repetitive, solid sort of looking patterns. I really like this one. I think those, this one's called Whisk It. I like this one. Then there are these three. Of which, I like this one, but I think I should have done more with the white in the background. But for the most part, it's not horrible. You know, there's some patterns that I like more than others, and I'm sure you guys will too when you look at these. Alright, so, Festoon I've done before in other places. I love Festoon. This one was new to me. This is called Mop Head Flower. And this one is called, oh, let's see if I can pronounce it right, F. Tyled. I've used this lady's um, stuff before. Ina, I think her name is Sonen Moser. 
Sonnenmoser. Anyway, I like it, but it does not look like the original pattern, so I still need to practice on this one to refine it. And here we have this one. And I, my favorite on this page is a toss-up between the two. I like these. I love the kitties. Love the kitties. They're so easy to make and they're so much fun. But I really like this one too. So it's a toss-up between these two. This one's okay, but it's a toss-up between these two right here. I really like this kind of stuff. But I just love the kitties. All right, and then more pattern stuff because I'm obsessed with patterns. Um, this one did not turn out the way I thought it should have from what I used as my example. It's a little wonky, but I'll get there eventually. Love this. Yay! And I like this one too. I, I really, I like these things right here. I like those. I like the line work. What can I say? Alright, so I tried something new on this one. This one is just, you know, on Pinterest you can find a lot of sheets, and I call them sheets, but they're a lot of um, pattern work where somebody just does lines on a, on a paper and then does the same pattern all the way across it. I find those fascinating, and they're not boring because you know, usually it's something different every single time, but it is still a whole piece together. This one's called Leather Belt. I've never seen this one before, and I tried it, and I kind of like it. I think I should not have curved this belt here. I should have made it go straight down like the others, but I really like this pattern. I think it's very clever. This one I've used before, except for I don't know what happened. I got things out of alignment. This is, should have been more bulbous here. But like I said, these are a lot of these are new to me. And, you know, I'm still, still learning. Even though I have a great time with them, I'm still learning. And I think that's what this thing is all about. All right, this one. This one's a little strange. <laughs> this is from a nail art lady. But the thing is, is that when the picture that I copied it from, she didn't put the lines all the way down, and I didn't either. And I can see that it needs more lines because I don't like that big white space here. I think it looks, it looks more filled in and more completed with the lines if you go like this. I like it better than if it's like this because then it looks like another one I did on another page. But I had a good time with these, and like I said, I am still learning, and I'm having a ball doing these. It's teaching me how to research, how to be more particular about what I what I decide to um, what I decide to use in my art, and I've found that I've discovered patterns that I like more than others. I've learned that I like coloring in. I like things that are a little more bold, although I do like stuff like this, and I like this, but I, and I know where I'm very weak. Um, my shading needs uh, some more work, and I can see that um, certain patterns befuddle me, things like optical illusion type things, optical illusion patterns, where they're very intricate. I like very basic patterns. I found that even though I do this this really busy stuff, I still like the basic line patterns. And that's something that I've learned um, from doing this. Like these kinds of things that are optical illusions, I really struggle with these kind of patterns. So I maybe should try more of these so that I can get better at them. I do love this one. It's very girly and frilly and uh, and you know, not heavy line work, but I just, for some reason, this one really appealed to me. Um, so I'm still learning, and it's a work in progress. Yeah, for a whole year. <laughs> okay, so that's my flip through for the month of March. And I have one last thing to say. Hi, Polly. All right, so this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I will see you guys in May for the April flip, which... I have kept up with. I'm not behind. Yay! 
um, and April's going to be more new patterns that I've never done before, so I'm very excited about, you know, something new. I do have a couple of duplicate patterns in here that I didn't realize I had duplicates, so now when I do the next month, I'm flipping through the past months to make sure I haven't already done it before I started in here, and I've learned that some of the stuff I need to do pencil work first, then go back and, and use the, um, the pens because I'm unsure about the pattern. All right, so that's it. See you guys next month. Bye.